There's no mic here, so I'm going to try to be really loud. <laughs> One of the benefits of not having a mic, I did a show at Potsdown, right? And they had the mic cord taped to the floor really tight, so I could only do like this. <laughs> so I was like one of those dogs outside Wawa that people eat. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, I'm so glad I could be here tonight. I'm really so sad this place is closing, as we all are very sad. You know, it's one of those, like, letting things go is a part of getting older, we all know. One of the things that comes along with getting older, I find, is that you start to view things, even things that don't go away, that are still with you a little bit different. You guys remember the monster cereals? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> you are a blueberry fan, aren't you? Blueberry. <laughs> Frank and, you know, I gotta Old tell you something. Frankenberry. Like, I mean, come on. He wears the pink suspenders with the strawberry fasteners. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> but, I think Count Chocula. Favorite monster cereal, right? I used to think that was the breakfast of champions. And now, I, when I look at that, I kind of see a big box of diabetes. <laughs> what is the special prize in there? Like, 50 cc's of insulin in every box. <laughs> Oreos are kind of like that, too. You guys eat Oreos? Oh, yeah. But then Oreos themselves have kind of changed, haven't they? Because they have the double stuff now. Yeah. Which are, you know, like twice as thick with more cream. And it, first of all, it's twice as thick with more cream. I'm all over it. <laughs> I mean, isn't eating a regular Oreo kind of like having sex and being like, no, you know, I'll put my dick in there, but I'm not going to need that orgasm. <laughs> 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 That's all right. <laughs> so, uh, movies are kind of something you do different. I saw The Empire Strikes Back in the theater when I was 12. You know, at the time, I'm like, Yoda is 800 years old. What a Jedi, right? And now when I see that movie, I'm just like, his 401k is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> this guy over here, he's like, um, I think the Jedi Council was a non-profit. <laughs> <laughs> so Yoda had a 403B. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what else is different this year? Oh, politics are different, aren't they? You do politics. Oh, before I go on, last year, during the elections, who watched the debates? Anyone? Some people. I think too, which is kind of unusual, because I kind of think presidential debates are like Muppets jerking off. Because <laughs> there's a lot of funny sounds and the fur flies, <laughs> but in the end, nothing is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> but politics are kind of different as you get older. Because, you know, like, I like, was a liberal and a Democrat and just been proud of it, right? And I, I'm still a Democrat, but I'm kind of less proud. Because I think that voting for a Democrat is kind of like fucking someone you feel sorry for. <laughs> like, you feel noble at the time, but you always regret it later. <laughs> and that person never stopped calling you. <laughs> like, no, John Kelly, look, I told you, it was just once. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, what should we talk about? Uh, you know, I have time. The only reason I'm glad to be here is that Joe has given me so many opportunities to host shows here. And when you're a stand-up comedian and you don't have a show, you do an open mic. Have you guys ever been to an open mic? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, uh, some people have. <laughs> For those of you who have, the comedy clubs, once a week, once a month, we'll have a night. And you can show up, you sign up, get in line, get on stage. Anybody can do it, right? And the open mics to me are kind of like gay bars because they're almost entirely attended by men, most of whom will never know the touch of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and they're scared. And they're scary because people feel really free to heckle at an open mic. And like being heckled is one of my worst fears. And right after Star Trek in a Lifetime movie. <laughs> And because some of these hecklers are really funny. I mean, funnier than you are. I was at this... Uh, <laughs> and 
and it was me and these two other comedians, both of whom were women. So I'm like, that's my like, opening line, right? So I come out, and I'm like, wow, I'm so excited. Ever since I started stand-up, I always hoped I'd be a man last comic on the ticket, and this guy in the front, no pause, says, yeah, well, keep hoping, pal. Keep hoping. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, and I'll tell you, I have seen people have to, I don't approve it, but it's me, and it's wrong, but there was one time, one time I saw it really deserve. And I'm going to tell you about it, but before I talk shit about another comedian on stage, we have to promise to keep this between, like, the 40. <laughs> okay, so I'm at this open mic, right? This comedian comes out, he opens his set with, I hate women. You see, I told you it was like a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> I hate women. And then he goes on to bitch about how he's not getting laid. So I'm like, maybe that has something to do with your sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I hate women. And he really did. I hated women because there's this woman in the front that singles out and he starts picking on her like, What color are your panties? When's your last time experience? And he's a dick. He's a dick. And she's just like not, she's not playing along. She's getting redder and redder because he won't give up. So finally he's like, You know, I also hate virgins. Do you know why? And without missing a beat, she cracks back. Maybe because in 20 years you'll still be one. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, so the women in the room, they are loving it, right? And they kind of rally around and form like the Yaya sisterhood. <laughs> <laughs> and the men in the audience, like we know the time has come to shut our mouths and put our heads down. <laughs> he's not getting it, so he hears he's gonna shout them down and going back and forth. And he's at the end of his room, right? So finally he's like, well, for two cents, I give up all you women forever. If you've ever wondered, how many thrown pennies <laughs> Knock someone unconscious? <laughs> 38. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've been happy. I've been happy to tell I was uh, performing in front of this kind of angry, straight, white, Republican guy crowd. And, you know, let me ask you, what do straight, white, Republican guys have to be angry about? I mean, come on, really, all right? You know, they have an easier time getting a job than black people. They earn more money than women. And if they're Republicans, they can fuck gay guys and still vote against same-sex marriage. <laughs> 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 I don't want to hear complaints from them. But anyway, so I'm in front of this crowd. And, uh, you know, I'm on my set. This guy totally throws me off because he goes, are you gay? So I'm kind of like frozen in time. And I was like, well, I'm not sucking cock right now. <laughs> yeah, but that's like really hard. It, it, it's tough to be gay in stand up comedy, I have to say. Because, guys, you know, I have a show tonight later and I have to run out of here. And uh, it's a place I've been trying to get into forever, right? I don't want to say the name. Let's just call it the Cromedy Cabaret. <laughs> And, uh, you know, like, they won't put me on stage because I'm not doing that, like, last night I fucked my girlfriend up the ass. You know, because that won't work for me unless the girlfriend is named Brad. <laughs> <laughs> so the only way I'm getting on stage, or near the stage, at the comedy cabaret, you know, is if I'm, like, doing somebody's hair. Because that's what gay guys are good at, right? You do hair. I'm not really good at most typically gay things. Like, I've got the fucking guys part <laughs> <laughs> you know, otherwise, I can't do your hair, I can't do your makeup, I can't do like your fucking interior design. <laughs> I could probably do your brother. <laughs> if he's of age. 